right, welcome back. Rush Limbaugh. Let me uh, address something here. Right when the program began, uh, Mr. Snurdly asked me, so, are you going to play all these Pope sound bites that you've got building up? And I said, no, I'm not going to play them. And this is why. Exactly what we're talking about now. That This is another manufactured controversy. I happen to be a villain in this massive soap opera script. I'll give you an illustration. You remember there was a woman once who testified before a fake congressional committee who demanded $3,000 worth of birth control pills paid for by everybody else. And we calculated that you'd have to be having sex, I mean, 25 times a day to run through that much birth control pill. So I used the word to describe it, and I actually did not use the word I meant to use, but I used the word. And you remember, for two weeks, that is all anybody was talking about. And they were massive efforts to cancel this program and get me thrown off the soap opera, to get me written out of the script, if you recall that. You do? You recall that? Okay. Now let's go back to this guy named Martin Bashir. I told a joke. I was, I used an inappropriate word. I didn't even use the word I intended to use because I frankly, I don't even know if it makes sense to revisit this. The word I did use, I thought it meant the same thing as the word. Anyway, so the point is the writers of the soap opera then hopped on that for as, I mean, they didn't let it go. And I was the scum of the earth. And anybody associated me with the scum of the earth. Over here, you have Martin Bashir, who basically thinks it'd be a great thing if somebody defecated and urinated in Sarah Palin's mouth a number of times. And the same people who did everything they could to run me out of town off this soap opera didn't say a word about Bashir. So this business with me and the Pope, look, it is what it is. I read on numerous blogs summaries of what the Pope had said. There is no question that the Pope had some very critical things to say about capitalism that are echoed by what you hear your average leftist say about it. I was kind of surprised by it. I said so. I said it sounds Marxist. And so now the writers of the soap opera have decided that I have stirred things up enough that I can once again become an elevated villain. I, I, I got, I'm, I'm getting emails from people, so what do you think about the stir you've caused? And I'm writing it back, what stir? I've been out of the country. I'm not aware of any stir. And I'm not. Okay, so they may be talking. I'm not going to feed it. I don't have to explain myself. Everybody knows, just like they did back then, exactly what I meant. They knew exactly what I said. Like when I when I said I hoped Obama fails, and they had they had you know, you know conniption fit over that. They knew exactly what I meant while they're mischaracterizing it. Uh, so I'm I'm not going to feed it, not even for the entertainment value, because I'm I'm it, it's just none of it's real, folks. And I'm sorry, I'm the mayor of Realville, and I just I don't like immersing myself in these contrived, phony. These people acting like they're so outraged by this. They're not outraged by it. They're energized by what they think is another opportunity to take me out. They don't care what I really said about the Pope. They're not, they're not, that's not the point of it. The point, oh, wow. I mean, every day they're hoping I step in it as they define stepping in it. So to heck with it. I'm not going to I'm not I'm I'm not going to allow these people at least I'm not going to participate in these people making me the bad guy cuz I am not. I am one of the guys in the white hats in this soap opera and I always have been. And I and I am not going to let them turn me into a black-hatted character. Just not going to do it. Cuz it's you know it's all made up this anger, this outrage. It's all phony. I mean, you've got people who themselves hate the Catholic Church all of a sudden now having to weigh, well, who do we hate more, Limbaugh or the Catholic Church? And they've decided me. And they're really conflicted because the Pope is also saying, while he's saying what they want to hear about capitalism, he's also telling them they can pack it in on abortion because he's not changing his mind and nor is the church. 
And that really ticks them off. But even with that, they still decide that I'm the black hat. Well, I mean, it's just so... These people, without me being involved, they, nobody would have cared what the Pope said. In fact, nobody did till I brought it up. Nobody was even talking about it till I brought it up. And my experience is... I must have been right to the point of irritating them, which is why they then brought it up.